Hello everyone, my name is Amanda and welcome to my channel. So today I will be showing you my bullet journal spread for June and I'm super excited about this month's theme because it's inspired by one of my favorite books. The book is called I'll Give You the Sun by Janty Nelson and it's just one of those books that you don't stop thinking about. I chose this theme because she uses so many metaphors and imagery that's really stuck with me throughout the years and I really hope to do her beautiful words justice. I'll leave all the quotes from her book that inspire each image in the description box down below, along with all the materials I use, like always. My monthly overview spread looks very much like my last one, and that's because I really like having the extra space, and it just really works well for my purposes. I did a little doodle based on another quote, and it might not make sense to someone who hasn't read it, but one of the protagonists in the book is an artist who lives and breathes art. So for him, creating is in a way like wishing. The next spread is my habit tracker, and I did it in the exact same way as last month as well. And surprisingly, I actually kept up with it throughout all of May, so let's hope I keep remembering. And on the opposite side, I felt like being a little more artistic and uh, did a little page with some drawings and quotes. I love this quote so much, and I don't really know why. but. That meant I could draw this portrait, which was inspired by a drawing I saw on Pinterest, and I'll link that down below. I used a fine liner for this sketch, and then the Crayola Super Tip marker that I've been using for all the yellow details. On the bottom of the page, I did another illustration loosely inspired by one of Jandy Nelson's quotes, and then I added a few more daisies all around, and of course, more yellow details. And the daisies I'm just drawing very loosely so they look a little bit more sketched and raw. And lastly is my weekly spread, and this is identical to the one from last month. I know myself well enough to know that I don't have the time or energy to make up a new high maintenance spread each week, so I like to keep this just to a minimum by having a simple and clean weekly spread, and then getting a little more creative once a month when setting up my monthly spread. But thank you guys so much for watching, um, if you decide to try out this spread or theme, please remember to tag me, it really makes my day. And if you have any questions or ideas, please feel free to leave a comment down below, and otherwise I'll see you next time. Bye!